Cruz versus Mucus. Man, Cruz gets better and better when it comes to Mucus. This right here is the fight that ended Mucus's career. He should go somewhere and retire after this one. What's going on, America? Welcome to Kevin's Corner, where I try to make some sense out of nonsense. Before we get into this video, I need y'all to do me a favor. Hit that like button, share my videos. Please make sure you subscribe. Make sure your notification buttons are turned on to all. Subscribe to my alternative channel, just in case YouTube give me the slip or something. You'll know how to find me. Don't forget to check me out with all the podcasts and follow me on Rumble in the Junko. All the links are listed below. If you want to donate to my channel, feel free. Those links are below as well. Now, with no further ado, Welcome to my party, we're just getting started. Second largest and third largest bank runs in history happened last month. Now the government is taking steps to guarantee all deposits. So that means more money printing. Thousands have approached Noble Gold Investments to secure their wealth with gold. Gold is the most stable asset outside of government control. Hurry and go to noblegoldinvestments.com to secure your wealth and get a free five ounce American the Beautiful coin. That's if you qualify. Hurry up and go to noblegoldinvestments.com. That is noblegoldinvestments.com. Now. Let's get to this video. Is there a crisis at our southern border? Senator, uh, Senator uh, there is a very significant... That, that's a yes or no question. There's a very significant... It, is there a crisis? Senator, there is a very significant yes challenge. Yes or no. There is a very significant challenge that we are facing. Yes or no. The is there border. a crisis? Now, Mucus already knows. Right off grip, he knows he's in for a long night, long fight night. Cruz came out not trying to size him up. He's not even fearing what Mucus got because he knows all he got. All he got is the lazy left. He's not even lowering his uh, guard. I mean, he's coming straight in like. <laughs> so Mucus already know. Off grip, he's running around, not running facing him. He's running with the back to him right now around the ring. <laughs> you know you get beat real bad when you're running with your back to the boxer. So Ted Cruz is chasing him around the ring. Soon as the bell rung, hitting him in the back of the head. Mucus is running full speed. Can't even turn for a second to fight. No, just full running. So now here's Cruz. Beat him up wherever way. Look, if he turns his back to it, hit him in the back of the head. I believe I've addressed that question. So you're refusing to answer? Senator, uh, there is a very significant challenge. And Will we you answer therefore, if there's a crisis? So he's refusing therefore, to we are dedicating the resources. Okay, so you're refusing to we... answer. Well, Secretary Mayorkas, I'll tell you someone who is willing to answer, oh, which is your and President Biden's chief of the Border Patrol in a sworn deposition in July of 2022 when asked, would you agree, Chief Ortiz, that the southern border is currently in crisis? Answer, yes. yes. Notice none of those wiggle words, none of that equivocation. One word, one syllable, yes. None of that running around the ring full speed thing on it with the head down dig it that's what he's doing in the ring right now you know you booking when your hands down and your hands is moving so fast they look like fans you can't even tell and distinguish them between each other his hands look like fans right now he's running so fast in that ring but yet that other honorable fighter got out there and said yep it's a crisis down here at the border but not mucus he ran when he got the ring are you willing to speak with the same clarity as Chief Ortiz? Is there a crisis at our southern border, yes or no? Senator, I'm very proud to work alongside oh, but you. But you refuse to answer. Let me ask you the, the next is. question. Here it is. Has the crisis at our southern border made Americans less safe, yes or no? Senator, we are dedicated to the safety Has the crisis made Americans less safe? I don't, I don't want a, a discourse. It's a yes or no question. Senator, we have a challenge of- You refuse to answer the question. Not he ain't gonna make it. Mucus is not gonna make it through this fight. This dude can't even gather himself. He can't even put his arms up right now. I don't know what's, I, I do not know what's keeping him from falling. I said, Senator. I mean, you can hear the defeat in his voice. He's just hoping to get out of this because he knew he knew Ted Cruz would be gunning for him. This probably was the last fight of the night for him. Uh, that sen Senator, I, uh, we are trying our best. <sighs> we that that is a mischaracteristic. We he should just sit here and just take the beat. He should just be quiet and just let Ted punch on him. Sec Mr. Secretary, let me show you how someone doing his job answers a question in a straightforward manner. Chief Nor Ortiz, is, is the crisis that is currently ongoing at the southern border making the border less safe for Americans and aliens alike? Answer, yes. One word, one syllable, three letters. That's how someone answers a question and does their job. You're being a politician misleading the American people. Let me give you a chance again. Will you show the same integrity Chief Ortiz shows? Now guys, do y'all think Ted Cruz is being a little too harsh on Mucus? 
And should he pull up a little bit and pull his punches, y'all? Mm -hmm. Or should he go ahead and step on the gas and give him the double tap? Foo -foo. Dang on it. That nasty possum in the middle of the road. Dang on it. I'm going to be swerving, putting my life in danger, trying to avoid you. No. Foo -foo. The double tap. That's what he should get right now. And that's metaphor. I don't want for the dummies out there to think that I am encouraging for mucus to be assassinated. Let's continue. Is the crisis at the southern border making Americans less safe? Yes or no? Senator, we have 260,000. You refuse to answer dedicated. the question. Let's move on. We have to Next America. question, Mr. Mayorkas. Has the crisis made aliens less safe? Yes oh. or no? Senator, we are seeking. So you won't answer that question either. If you it, it is, it's a yes or no. Has it made aliens less safe? Senator, smugglers are exploiting. Has the crisis. <laughs> Mucus got the cat hands. He done took the gloves off. He done took the gloves off right now. And he is at that last survival mode where you on your back <laughs> showing the claws. <laughs> That's how bad he's getting beat. Yes or no, Mucus. Senator, uh, there's 200,000. He don't even know what he's saying. He's just throwing out anything. Uh, there's a lot of people. I'm thirsty. Uh, man, I tell you, I can't wait to get home today. My feet are killing me. None of this <laughs> right there is addressing what Teddy is asking you, Mucus. He's unconscious and just standing up, going through the motions. This has made aliens, yes, less safe. Are you willing to answer it? Senator, the smuggling organizations. Okay, you're, you're filibustering again. Let me ask you this question. Senator. How many migrants have died under President Biden? Another Senator, bunch. Your, your phrasing of the question is actually quite misleading. How many migrants yeah. died in 2022? Um, uh, at our, uh, approaching our southern border? Yes. That's precisely why we are seeking to explore so you're, this. Can, no, 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 no. Y'all see this? He he kind of snapped out of it. I guess he got punched and, and knocked out and woke up in the same round. So, bing, uh, bing, uh, uh, what? Uh, what happened? I just went to sleep. Oh, I'm back. And going to throw out this rebuttal. Talking about some, I uh, said that is precisely why I'm trying to stop this, and this is why it's important for us. Don't try to blindside us, manipulate dip us with that. I'm about to get serious and tell you that I agree with you. I feel you on that. That's why we're doing the best we can, bro. I'm on it. You think Ted Cruz is about to fall for that, huh? Just because you're able to lift your right arm don't mean you're going to throw it. We know all you get is that lazy left. And here's what Ted is going to do to that lazy left. Do you know the answer? Do you know how many died? I do not. You do not. Of course you don't. I know how many died. 853. 853. And by the way, here are the numbers that have died every year. You go back to 1998, you see it's wow. consistently between 300 and 400, 300 and 400, 300 and 400. Suddenly, 2021, what happens? You get in office, and that red line are dead bodies. I've been on the Rio Grande. Mucus will never forget this beating. This is one of those beatings that he's going to take to the grave with him. He's going to be waking up in the middle of the night. Ah, Ted Cruz. <sighs> <sighs> I just can't get it out my head. This right here is going to have him shell-shocked. <laughs> He's going to be hearing that forever. You showed up. <laughs> Beautiful. This is a master class in how you should do these raggedy behind Democrats right here. He now will associate that big fat red line going straight up with himself forever. Every time I see mucus, I'm going to be thinking of you showed up. That's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> like he is pig peeing, y'all. When he showed up, we saw the big cloud come. Now, we know when you're there before you even get there, Mucus. We smell your nasty butt. Like, hey, man, is Mucus close? Is Mucus close? <laughs> so now here's Mucus getting a verbal and visual beating, too. He's going to remember this one forever. He's the red line. You showed up. And, and I've seen dead bodies floating there who've drowned because of your refusal to do your job. You don't even know how many have died. What do you say to the Texas farmers and ranchers who find pregnant ladies dead on their property, who find toddlers dead on their property? What do you say to them? Well, y'all, I'm sorry. I'm a little busted up on the inside, not because of watching such a horrific beatdown, but it's, it's so beautiful. Hey man, you know I ain't got tear ducts because I'm too. Oh, ah, oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> this is this is poetry in motion. It's a work of art. Oh man, I ain't never seen nothing as beautiful. <sighs> okay, pull it back together, Kev. These tears are for you, mucus. Just letting you know that this is for your beating. Oh, Ted Cruz, this is perfect. I always wanted to see a perfect fight. And Ted Cruz is giving it to me. Here we go. I say that is why precisely we are taking it to the smuggling organization. But you are not. That is simply not true. Number two, it is let, why let, 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 let me read from the Wall Street Journal. <laughs> you know what's even more beautiful? 
to hear mucus in the background still mumbling, <laughs> trying to carry on with whatever programmed narrative and statement he has as Ted done moved on. <laughs> Nobody's paying attention to mucus. He's up there throwing punches and they're like, okay. So here is that. That is exactly why, uh, if I can explain, now let me move on. And then um, one time, <laughs> he don't even realize <laughs> That they don't went to a whole nother subject is exactly why. <laughs> the Wall Street Journal two weeks ago ran an article entitled, It's Like Gra a Graveyard. Record numbers of migrants are dying at the border. The story begins with this chilling line, quote, Eagle Pass, Texas. Okay. Local officials keep a refrigerated truck to hold the bodies of migrants who drown in the currents of the Rio Grande while trying to cross the border into the U.S. On your watch, Lucas. Your Let me ask you a different question. Oh. How many children have been sexually assaulted by human traffickers no under the Biden administration. What are Sir, those? This is precisely oh. why we instituted- I, I, I don't want a lecture, there it's is, a question. How many children- There it is. And Ted is hitting him, he digging in. He just, he's hitting and twisting it. He's giving him liver shots, all of that. He's getting deep into his body, talking about the kids that's dying, the migrants that's dying. Do you even know those numbers? That's bad. When you're the leader, that shows that you're not committed to this. You don't care. That's like a captain. You know, you're responsible for all your troops. You guys made it back. How many did you lose? I don't know. Well, wait, how many did you start with? I don't know, maybe like 200 or so. You don't know how many y'all? Oh, yeah, a lot. I'm pretty sure. You know what? You pick a number. That's how bad that would sound. That's exactly how he just sounded when he said, I don't know. I don't know. That means it's not a concern. These people are expendable. They are collateral damage. When you are not invested in each one of their lives, you should be sad at night when you hear, what? Y'all found how many? Oh man, it's messed up. Okay, how are we gonna solve this? How about you start without encouraging them to come, to making it more difficult. You're encouraging them. You're responsible for this mucus. You're responsible for this beating that you're taking, but it's bringing me tears of joy. Let's continue with my joy night. It's a question. How many children have been sexually assaulted by human traffickers under your administration? Senator, this is Senator, this is exactly why on January exactly. 5th, we you, announced again, the parole Again, do you program. know how many? Do you know how many children have been sexually assaulted? This is why we- Okay, you're gonna refuse to answer that question as well. Right Let's move on. It's Literally. obvious you You've been instructed to stonewall, so I'm not going to let you. You don't get to stonewall Thank and you. filibuster. Cruz is controlling this bum. <laughs> so he's on cruise control right now. Senator, that is exactly why we are uh, the, the, the January 5th. Uh, we started something that I don't even know how it works, but uh, I'm pretty sure it is making my job harder or easier, depending on your point of view. Y'all hear this? Ted's going to finish him. And I'm telling you right now, I enjoy. Do you see why? I had to go ahead and do a late night show because I couldn't wait. You ever want some? This is like Christmas. After watching this one, I was like, oh, I would wait till tomorrow, but I can't. Can I open my presents tonight? Yes. Buster. Now, one of my Democratic colleagues before said the Democrat talking point, quote, this problem didn't start under Biden. Oh, That's, I hear that all the time. I, look, I get if you're a partisan spinner, you got to figure out something to say about the absolute <laughs> catastrophe that has played out under the Biden administration. True or false, Secretary Marcus, 2020 was the lowest rate of illegal immigration in 45 years. Is that true or false? It is certainly the lowest level of immigration in many, many years. And what was it okay, fine. in 2020? What was it, Senator, in 2020 that impacted? Oh, he thinking, he thinking he's about to land a punch. Look at the confidence. My man does set up, lean to the side. And, and, and you know what? I'm glad you brought that up. Because what was it? What was it? See, I'm about to really throw something like that that, that uh, landed in 2021. Huh? That, that, that's why I want you to know, crew. Oh, are you trying to use the whole COVID narrative? I'm surprised he didn't slide in Pooty. I'm surprised he didn't slide in Russia. Did the entire world, including the United States. Okay, so your what testimony is the reason we had the lowest rate was COVID. It had nothing to do with building the wall, nothing to do with ending catch and release, nothing to do with remain in Mexico. With all respect, Mr. Secretary, that answer is laughable. And in fact, if you look at CBP encounters, you can see 500,000, 500,000, it drops to the lowest level and boom, what happens? You show up and that red line is you. That red line is Joe. <laughs> Wait a minute. I don't like y'all seeing me like this. Oh. <clears throat> you showed up. <laughs> That's what happened. <laughs> I'm loving it, y'all. Wait a minute. Okay, okay. All right, and pull yourself together, Kev. Ah, it's almost over. It's a work of art. Master clash. Oh, they're going to be showing this for years to come. Film. That's what I mean. All right. Stop right there. Pause. 
Now notice how Ted Cruz knocked every single one of his teeth out of his mouth with one punch. Wow, that's beautiful. So you showed up. Mine is Joe Biden, and you're claiming nothing happened. Oh, gosh, th this was here before us. No, you made the decision to allow this to happen. <laughs> Let me ask you, okay. we now have over 5.5 million people who've entered this country illegally under Joe Biden. Mm. How many murderers have you released into America? I don't know, Senator, and I'm I'm I don't care. Of any murderer. <laughs> so you don't know. Senator. Oh, man. He said, I'm not aware of any murderers. <laughs> I mean, how could you even rationally answer that question with all the getaways? I mean, they, they don't even know how many got away. Just the ones we were able to count. And you're like, I'm not aware of any. Of course you're not aware of them. You're not even aware of any Chinese nationals that could be potentially spies. People from the Middle East could be potentially radical Islamic terrorists. You're not aware of it, Mucus. There's no way you could be aware of it and hold these people accountable with a horrific process that's designed to allow them to come in very easily. It's broken by design. So don't sit back and even try to bluff us by saying, ah, three. <laughs> this is unreal, man. Unreal. I mean, it's a masterclass. And sadly to say, the people who probably should be watching this, they're walking around thinking life is grand until all of these people end up in their neighborhood or they become a victim of some of these people that mucus, when he showed up, allowed to come in our country. Let me say something. If do you, you know? If you take a look at- No, no, you, you don't get to give a speech. Do you know how many murderers you've released? To, I'm just trying to answer your question. How many rapists Senator. have you released? Senator, I'm trying do you to know? answer your question. You can answer, I know or I don't know. Senator, I'm any individual who poses a public safety threat- How many child molesters have you released? And removed into the United States, from the United States. Oh, so your testimony under oath, subject to perjury, is that you have not released any murderers, rapists, or child molesters among the 5.5 million? Is that your testimony? Is that it, um, Mr. Chairman, may I have the opportunity No, to you may answer. not. You may answer my question. You're, you're not Is allowing. that your testimony, yes or no? Senator, you're not allowing me to answer your question. I am allowing you to answer. I'm not allowing you to fill up. If, if you take a look at the, the pace of immigration, in 2018 to 2019. You're refusing to answer. Let's panic. move on. Let's move on. <laughs> Ted's not even giving him a, He's not giving him one second to brief. I mean, this dude is on him like a full-blown hive of bees or wasp. Multiple stings. Mucus is like, just let me be now. Just let me be. That's all I want, Ted. Let me be. And Cruz is not letting up. <laughs> Man, you ever seen one of them fights where you're going, that was an amazing round. That dude came out from the beginning of the bell to the end, throwing nothing but punches. I'm surprised he was able to even get through the whole round. He kept the pressure on him through the whole round. This is what Ted is doing. This is a masterclass, and Mucus is just hoping that he can survive. He's like, I cannot wait until this dude's five minutes is out. On the gotaways. Gotaways are the people that get away that you know about. Now, what happened under your administration? Gotaways consistently fire. down at this low line, oh. boom, you get in. And they go from below 180,000 to 600,000. Now, I'll tell you line. this about a gotaway. You don't know among those 600,000 a year, you have no idea how many are murderers, correct? That is precisely why. Oh, correct? Do you know That's how many of those are murderers? That is precisely why. So you refuse why. to answer the question. You know how many are rapists? Do you know how many are rapists? This is a question. You're a lawyer. You know how to answer questions. Of the 600,000, do you know how many of them were rapists? Senator, this is why we So again, are... the answer is no. Let me ask you this. Do you know how many... <laughs> First thing first, mucus talks too slow. That dude would drive me crazy. Uh, first of all, um, uh, that is uh, per, um, precisely why your punches are too slow, mucus. Even if you had something to say, you would get hit like eight times between each word. Uh, that is um, uh, uh, precisely why uh, we was... Uh, nobody got time for that. You can't put the pressure on nobody. Speaking like that, mucus, dang on it. I could go home, take a nap, make a ham sandwich, come back, and you'll still be fishing for the next word. It got the nerve. That's precisely why. Many of them are terrorists. And I don't want to, Senator, here's my lecture on this. Do you know how many of the 600,000 gotaways were terrorists? Yes or no? Senator, we are focused on the You refuse to answer that as well. What's the result of massive gotaways? Well, one of the results is drug uh -oh. overdoses. Uh -oh. And we now have last year over 100,000 overdoses who died, the majority from Chinese fentanyl streaming across the border. Now, you told Senator Cornyn, you care. But look what has happened under your 
your policy. When yeah. you open up the border to the worst illegal immigration in our nation's history, okay. people die. You did this, Mucus, in the Biden administration. So how are these numbers lying, Mucus? COVID didn't do this. You can't even blame it for that type of drastic change. And yet there's no, no natural catastrophe you could throw out there. Nothing will compensate for such a great change. You're going like this slightly, slightly, slightly. <laughs> Straight up. And here you are as COVID and then uh, that uh, we are that other countries are also experiencing. No, no. You can't justify or explain away that type of spike mucus. So now you show up and the number goes straight up. There you go. Um, In every category. So if more people are coming, that means more drugs are coming. That means more deaths are happening. You're breaking records, Mucus. You claim you care, Mr. Secretary. That is a lie. You know, some months ago, Corinne Jean-Pierre stood up at a White House briefing and said, Final people vote. are not just walking across the border. Yeah, was she telling she the said. truth? Senator, you are uh -oh. was she telling so the truth? profoundly disrespectful. Was oh. she telling the truth? Two years. Okay, you, 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 you get to end. No, Mucus. No, Mucus. You disrespected yourself. You're the one that got in this ring fat and out of shape, ain't hit a heavy bag in years, ain't never want to fight. Knowing all you had was one boxing glove on, on your left hand, so no, everybody know you ain't gonna throw the right. And here you are getting exposed and you talk about you are disrespecting my 20 years of doing absolutely nothing. You need to be disrespected. Gonna try to get mad at the end. Answer questions. You don't Senator, get to give speeches. Senator, I served as a federal prosecutor. All right, so you're well refusing well to answer. If you look at, she was lying. And she was not lying on her own. She was lying on behalf of the President of the United States. Oh, now Ted just jumped out the ring, ran up in the stands and punched Kareem in her head, ran across, punched Biden with an uppercut and said, now you stay right in the middle of that ring, Mucus, I'll be right back. And ran back down there, jumped over in that ring and went back to work on Mucus. Oh, this is beautiful. This is a photograph from just one day along the Rio Grande of hundreds of thousands of people walking across the border. You have allowed this to happen. The photograph that was before, what are, what are these wristbands? I don't know what they are. You Senator. don't know what they are. Mr. Secretary, you just testified to the American people you're incompetent at your job because I've been to the southern border. And if you go to the southern border, along the southern border, you see thousands of these wristbands because the illegal immigrants wear them. The drug cartels, every color corresponds to how many thousands of dollars they owe the cartels. You have turned these cartels into multi-billion dollar criminal organizations and these are modern day leg irons. I can't even, I can't even suppress the cry. I'm about to get the, <laughs> you know, you start off with just the tears and once you get that first, <laughs> it's over. It goes from that to, <laughs> see, if, one, if you can hold that first, <laughs> And you're okay. But I'm at that point where I almost can't even hold it in. I'm at that point where I'm just going to straight go infant, newborn baby. <laughs> so you're telling me <laughs> that this dude don't know what those wristbands are? Are you kidding me? I knew what the wristbands are about four years ago. This guy's responsible for stopping this? Uh, what are those uh, that are those things that, uh, that people have to put on when they go into a club to make sure that they know that they've already been in? This is unreal. Because these are children being sold into sex slavery and you don't even know what they are. That is astonishing. Mr. Secretary, how many children have been sold into sex slavery under your administration? Senator, we are taking it to the cartel. How many children have been world? sold into sex slavery? Slavery. To the yes. Do you Un know how many children have been sold into sex slavery? No, you are taking it to the chin by Cruz right now. <laughs> to an unprecedented degree. Mr. Secretary, I want to say to you right now, your behavior is disgraceful and the deaths... Now, you know the sad part? A Democrat's controlling this hearing. He's tapping, but even he, normally they step in. Normally they will step in and be like, all right, uh, Senator, your time is up. He or she is not enjoying this beating so much. They're giving the light tap. <laughs> They are sitting back like tink, 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 tink. I would stop this beating, but this right here is, I have to admire. I gotta admire his work. <laughs> so I'm gonna allow it. Give him a couple extra seconds. <laughs> Man. Do you know how many children have been sold no, to I sex slavery? I don't care about children. Degree. Mr. Secretary, I wanna say to you right now, <laughs> your behavior <laughs> is disgraceful and the deaths, the children assaulted, <laughs> the children raped, they are at your feet. And if you had integrity, you would resign. And I will tell you, the men and women of the Border Patrol, they've never had a political leader undermine them. They despise you, Mr. Secretary, because you're willing to let children be raped to follow political orders. This is a crisis. It's a disgrace. And you won't even admit this human tragedy is a crisis. I'm sorry, y'all. 
It was too much to bear. I fainted just a second. Give me a minute. That was a work of art. I hope Mucus go home and think about it. I hope he does. I hope every person that is dear and near to his heart hold their head in shame. I hope they can't even look this dude in the face. Like, man, you know, you almost had me convinced, Dad, that you were a good guy. But after Ted Cruz just exposed you, that would be that moment where a kid finds out that his dad is sorry. See, when you're a kid, you think your dad can beat everybody. My my dad, my dad will beat up your dad. My dad can beat everybody in the world. Yeah, somebody on a Little League football team when we were growing up named Bodie thought his dad was tough. And this stocky coach was out there. And I think he yelled at Bodie or something. And his father going to go out on the field, going to show this coach what time it is. And he walked up on that coach and that coach said, hey, hey, buddy, calm down, back up. Now, what you going to do? And next thing we saw was Bodie's dad do a cartwheel against his will. His hands didn't touch the ground. He got scooped up and body slammed and came up with a broken arm. Oh, my arm is out of place. And Bodie sitting there swinging on the coach as a kid trying to help his dad because his dad just got beat up in front of everybody in his stands. <laughs> Bodie realized that my dad is sorry. <laughs> I'm sure right now Bodie got problems. He's like, I don't even want to look at you, dad. You got slammed, <laughs> made you do a cartwheel in front of the whole stands and broke your arm. I had to come to your rescue. That's what his whole family needs to be doing right now. Because that's what happened to Mucus. He got his butt completely destroyed. Magnificent. God bless you. God bless America. Don't forget to hit that like button. Share my videos. Find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all those good things. And please check out Extreme Tees, my sponsor. If you like their products, please click on the link below this video. Put Kevin in a promo code. You'll get a 20 percent discount you like to donate to kevin's corner feel free the links are below this video if you want to be a part of my two dollar a month club also feel free to do that all it entails is you simply dropping two bucks a month into one of those links below the video or if you want you can drop a nice big fat lump sum in there to offset the stuff that we know goes on with big tech if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe make sure that you are still subscribed and finally set your notification button to all because YouTube is playing games, y'all. Now, God bless you. God bless America. See y'all next time in Kevin's Corner.